Hey there, my name is Mackenzie and welcome to my little corner of the internet. I'm wearing my witch hat so you know what that means. It's freaking Halloween. <laughs> so last year for my birthday, I received a bag of various Japanese snacks and treats from my brother and sister-in-law. For Halloween last year, I uploaded a video where I randomly selected five of them and gave them a try. Nobody asked me to do it again, but I'm doing it anyway for content. Let's get started. So to begin, I went through the bag, I dumped them out, went through them because I'm very aware that this bag of candy and treats and stuff is now one and a half years old. A lot of them, actually all of them, have expired. I feel really bad that I've only eaten five of these treats out of the massive amount that I got. So I'm going to be doing this anyway. I just selected the ones that expired in 2022 and chucked them. Thankfully, it wasn't that many. There was like five or six of them. And it was mostly those like corn stick ones. I believe one of those I tried last year and it made me sick. So I'm not exactly heartbroken that I will not be eating more of those in different flavors. Obviously the best before date is just more of a suggestion. It's like if you eat it before this date it will be probably tasting the best. Expired candy sucks. Thanks Captain Obvious. So not only is it kind of pointless to eat them in the first place because I know they're gonna be bad, it's also the fact that it's sort of unfair to be reviewing them in a state that they were not meant to be eaten in. Some of these expired in August, so a few of them are kind of more recent. They're probably still pretty good, whereas like most of these expired in the spring of this year, so like I don't know what kind of form I'm gonna get them in. It's sort of, you know, when you don't really know what to expect from something and what it's supposed to taste like when it's not expired, you don't really have any comparison, you know what I mean? So like, take this video with a grain of salt. So after I removed those and then put them back in the bag and what is left in here is what I'm going to be pulling from. We're gonna do the same thing as last year. I'm gonna select five of these treats and try them. Uh, maybe if we have time, I'll do a bonus sixth one, but we'll see how sick I feel by the end of this. The packaging doesn't give me hope. <laughs> this is gonna be any kind of enjoyable. <laughs> okay, let's open this up. Oh, they're like little, um, they're like little, little tiny things. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I don't know if you can see this okay, hold on. My phone will not focus inside the package had issues with its focusing ability lately um but anyway you can kind of see there's little like some of these are like a pinky color and then others are white and then there's all these like little crystal i'm guessing they're like shards of sugar according to a blog that i've found here patchy patchy panic popping crackling candy from mason as you can easily guess if you have tried the treat pop rocks before patchy patchy panic is a japanese popping candy which was debuted in 2007 much later than the release of pop rocks nonetheless in japan there are a few people who know pop rocks simply because it can't be found almost anywhere but patchy patchy panic has become a popular nagashi among children so it's av available in three flavors cola grape and soda very cool okay we're gonna give that a go <laughs> did i just shove like the whole thing in my mouth like this is kind of a big handful that i just took it's like a like a big chunk <laughs> um but okay oh <laughs> it's cola
<laughs> it's just like all the pop and like when you close your mouth it's like you can really hear it loud in your head and my brain wasn't loving that <laughs> i think as a kid i would have thought that was fantastic like i don't really remember eating pop rocks that often i think i maybe had them a handful of times in my entire life and i don't think it was because i chose to get them like if my nanny took us to like the store and told us that we could have any treat I, like the candy stuff like i went for chocolate i didn't go for candy uh so i don't think it's something that i ever chose for myself if anything it was something like someone at recess would give me which now that i think about it it's, it's kind of funny that i was just taking mysterious candy from kids at recess <laughs> or like maybe for halloween i would have probably received it in my halloween bag but it's not something i would have actively sought out i don't think i'm actually really happy i got cola let me see oh yeah it does say cola yeah so it is cola sometimes i just see japanese at this point like i'm just so exhausted from studying it that sometimes i see japanese packaging and, and words and kanji and stuff and my brain just pieces out immediately i don't want to read it <laughs> like i don't want to know um it gets immediately exhausted uh, but anyway, so the cola flavor, that I really liked. The popping was really fun. I don't think I could eat an entire pack of this. Like, it was fun the once, but I think after that it would be too much for me. Um, but, I, like, I could see kids downing this, like, challenging each other to eat the whole thing. I could see that. Actually, I could have seen me doing that in grade school, actually. Um, so I think for flavor, and the fact that it's fun, I'm going to give it... Like a 6 out of 10, actually. I think I'll give it a 6 because those things are good. I just don't think I could eat a whole pack of it. Otherwise, it would probably get a higher rating. Number 2. Mm, I'm going to go really down in the bottom. This one. Bicycle. So it's a cream... Cream sando, so a cream sandwich biscuit cookie thing. It's got this kid's face on it. Look at my Halloween nails, by the way. I did those late last night. Aren't those so freaking cute? Like, anyway. <laughs> There's actually not an expiration date on this one. Interestingly enough, I remember noticing that when I was going through this. I don't know if that means it just doesn't expire which would be weird or if you're just expected to eat it right away otherwise it's no good but we're gonna open this one up oh it smells like a butter cookie oh that excites me so much i talked about that and i think the last one that i did had a butter cookie type thing as well and i got super pumped oh there's there's two of them okay so it comes with two in the packaging Rico biscuits make your day sweeter. Crunchy biscuit and creamy icing filling are all you need. Simple but so delicious. Small package size make them an ideal snack on the go. I'm actually really excited. I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man. It reminds me so much of um, a cookie from my childhood that I used to eat all the time, and I don't know what it is. Like, it's like immediately tasting it is bringing me back, but I don't... I can't place it, but it's very specific. It's the icing. You know what? S cookies. It's the Italian S cookies. Yeah. Yeah, it's the Italian S cookies. That's exactly what this tastes like. Like, if you've had an S cookie, it's like a crunchy version of that. Those are usually on the softer end that you really sink your teeth into them. Um, I guess you could, if you bake them yourself, I guess you can make them crispier if you wanted to, but they're usually like a softer, like they really have like a good chew to them uh, and they have icing on the top. And that's exactly, this is identical to that. 10 out of 10, solid. I have to think twice. That's some good shit, I like that. Um, I don't know, the very end of it, like, it's, it's very, it's as similar to an S cookie as you can possibly get, but it's like, I don't know, there's something about it, like, the, the aftertaste, it isn't quite, like, it kind of veers off in a slightly more artificial direction, if that makes sense, but it's good. 
It's good. Actually, I would give that, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna leave it at a 10 out of 10. I'm not even gonna budge. You know what? This is going so good so far. Like, we started off awful <laughs> in, in the first one. This one's going much better, so. Ultra mini Kakipika. Okay. I wonder how many companies out there make variations on what appears to be Japan's most available, if not favorite, senbei rice cracker. Most Japanese markets regularly carry both a regular soy sauce and slightly hot and spicy version and wasabi. <laughs> oh my god, this better not be wasabi. <laughs> I think of these as the Japanese version of popcorn. It's something tiny that you can cram into your mouth by small handfuls, and it provides salt, crunch, and a certain satisfaction to compulsively eat without getting your mouth terribly full. I'm a sucker for popcorn, to be honest with you. It's like actually my favorite thing. Uh, I, like, I could literally just down an entire thing of popcorn any day of the week, dude. Like, I just, there's something about popcorn, man. All right, let's get this open. Oh! It smells like, um, peanuts. It, it smells like peanut butter. That's sort of not what I was expecting from something that's apparently soy sauce flavored. <laughs> what? Here we go. Actually, these are peanuts. What am, I, what am I fucking talking about? These are peanuts. That's why they smell like peanuts, because they're peanuts. Okay, so I was at first, I was feeling it. I was like, okay, yeah, this is pretty good. And then the flavor of the non-peanut things uh, kicked in. And I actually don't know what flavor that was. It didn't really taste like, like soy sauce to me. Uh, it's a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit spicy, but more like on the salty side, I think. Um, but I didn't love the flavor of that. Yeah. <laughs> Again. Um, there's no expiration date on this one. So I don't know if these are, like, past the point where they would be good. But the peanuts are fine. Peanuts are always fine. Um, but this. Whatever flavor this is, is a no-go for me. I'm gonna give this one um, a 4 out of 10. And it's only getting a 4 because the peanuts are in there. Um, <laughs> I don't know, this person's saying uh, in this vlog that you can, like, it, you can eat them by the handful uh, like you can popcorn and for me, no. <laughs> um, I can kind of see how, like, I can see where they're coming from in terms of, like, that some people could do that uh, and thoroughly enjoy that experience, but the flavor, that was just not for me. I'm hoping that's actually the worst one. Let's Melon Pandoro. Pandoro. I can't tell the difference between an O and an A. I'm fucking dumb. <laughs> what is it? the cookie. Okay, so it's a panda cookie. Okay, that's some standard stuff. I think I'm getting lucky with this one. God is rewarding me from last time. Oh yeah, it's a butter cookie. Sorry, I got way too excited. Okay, have fun munching on this tasty panda-shaped butter cookie. It has a lovely melon flavor. Surprise yourself with a random package design when you order. So what package design did I get? Oh, I got, so he was like, he's got his, close his eyes closed. I guess they can have different facial expressions depending on, oh, 
<laughs> that is so freaking cute. Nobody does packaging like Japan. That is so adorable. I think, like, I love all of these, but I, I like this one that's sleeping with the bubble coming out of his nose. It's so cute. Two, like, cookie type ones. This is too lucky. I'm too lucky. So my cookie's all broken from being in this bag for so long. I guess it was supposed to look like this. And now it's just in pieces. This is too lucky. I'm too lucky. Okay. Okay. Listen. If you like melon, that is gonna be so up your alley. <laughs> so far up your alley. If you don't like melon, it's gonna, it's gonna be in the wrong alley, I guess. Oh, it is sort of a greenish color. Actually, I don't know if you can tell, but. Okay, the second time's not nearly as like, holy shit, melon. I wouldn't eat this again. You know when you get the fruit trays from grocery stores, the melon is always a thing that nobody eats. And it's just it's it just gets left there i usually i don't go for the melon you know what i mean like it's just usually because melon has like melon itself is a very subtle flavor um and so it's sort of i guess it's kind of a lot of people feel it's sort of boring but it's like this cookie's turned that up to like the highest level it can go in terms of flavor like if it was a subtle lemon flavor and it was more butter cookie than than melon, and the melon was like a hint of melon, I think I would like it a lot more, but this is like getting punched in the face by a melon. It's just a lot. So I'm gonna give this, uh, you know, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 because even though melon isn't like, it's not the worst thing I could eat. Uh, like if I was like starving or something, it's not like this would be the worst thing. I would rather starve than eat this. Like we're, it's not that dramatic. Um, but I, like, if I had options, I wouldn't choose to go for this if I'm just, like, looking for a snack. But it gets points for being cute as fuck. But, like, look at that. And I'm sure that cookie was super adorable before it was in pieces. So I think it deserves extra points for the cuteness factor. So, you know, I'm actually going to bump it up to a 7 for, for packaging alone. Because that's some cute packaging and I can't help but feel like it needs points for that. It's the cutest packaging so far. You, you, why am I, why am I struggling to read this? Choco snack, okay. So this is what that looks like. It's too bad this web page doesn't have an option to take a picture of the snack so that you can like search it through that. I wonder how hard that would- Oh my god, they have a peanuts! Snoopy fruit the chocolate egg. That sounds awesome. Okay, sorry. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> I'm sorry, I see Snoopy, I get distracted immediately. Is it you? Yeah, I was reading it right. But what's the M looking thing? Stylized Japanese is just like such a pain in the ass. I just, I can't recognize that character in the middle. Like, I, I don't know why. Is it a little you? I think it's, like, is it twice? It doesn't seem right either. Hey there, Editing Mackenzie here. I just wanted to quickly pop in and make a note before you go to the comment section to make fun of me. Um, I just realized I'm almost done editing the video and I, it just occurred to me I was reading it wrong. I was reading it horizontally. It's supposed to be read vertically. It says choco. Anyway, sorry. I just really wanted to make sure that you knew that I know that now, but at the time of filming I was confused. So anyway, let's get back to the video. Okay, I found it. Uh, I had to find it on a Japanese snack, so I've just translated the thing to make this simpler. Corn puffs with a crunchy texture, deliciously wrapped in mild chocolate with a good mouthfeel. 
corn snack. So corn puff and chocolate sounds like a really gross combo. Okay, so it comes out looking like this, which looks promising. And it's got a hole <laughs> in, in the center. I just went through a roller coaster. <laughs> my tongue hit the chocolate and my teeth kind of like just got a little bit of a grip on it and I'm like oh that actually is like very spongy like that's really interesting and I got kind of excited and then I bit into it and I got that like corn puff flavor and I was like oh ew <laughs> that's not okay and then immediately it was like the chocolate kind of melted in there and then it was kind of like okay again like I don't I feel like it literally went like up, down, up. I don't know. I mean, let me try one more bite. I don't mind the texture of it. It's soft and like pillowy. Airy. Like it's um, almost like it melts almost immediately. Like it's barely there. The flavor of the corn thing isn't good. And the only thing that saves it is because the chocolate comes in immediately afterwards. And so that's like the thing you remember when you swallow it. It's like you remember the chocolate because it was the last thing you tasted. But every time I bite this, it's like that corn. And then I'm like, ooh. So I give this a solid, like a four out of 10. Because the chocolate is carrying this. <laughs> the chocolate is the four. So I'll give it that. I, if I want to eat chocolate and something that tastes like chocolate, I'll just go for chocolate, like a chocolate treat that's actually good at being chocolate, um, not this corn thing disguised as a chocolate treat. You know what? I actually think we have time for a bonus. It's a Hello Kitty marshmallow treat that I just threw on the floor. Um, so we're going to disqualify her and I'm going to go for a different one because I don't want to get up to pick it up. Shimmy Choco Corn. Okay, we ended up with another chocolate thing. Honestly, after the trauma of last time, I'm more than happy with this one turning out well. Okay, this one expired in January. Let's see now. Okay, so shimmy choco corn. Let's tr look this one up. Is it corn again? And not, it's corn, not cone. Please don't tell me it is. I don't want to eat another corn thing. Oh my god, oh my god it is. Another fucking corn thing, dude. I'm actually kind of tempted to disqualify this one on the grounds that I've already had something that's basically this. <gasps> okay. I mean, I selected it, so this is what it looks like. Little star guy. And you can see it's like a star stick. I guess this is what I selected, so I should just... <laughs> I've discovered that Japan really likes these, like, it's more like a flower than a star, actually, because it's like, um, it's literally flower shaped. It's rounded. Okay, I just, oh, they tried. Oh, this is identical to something else I had as a kid. It also, it also feels like it's an Italian treat, actually, now that I think about it something my grandma would have had like every, whenever I went to her house she had a plate of cookies that lord knows how long that was sitting there for uh and it was all like an assortment of Italian cookies oh it's that ending like flavor 
that's gonna bug me and then i'll figure out what it is it's like the very ending of it like at first it almost tastes like nothing like you can't get the flavor of it to figure out what it is you're eating again this could be because it's not it expired in january so it's a grain of salt here but uh it's like the flavor doesn't immediately hit you but once it does it's okay it's definitely nicer than the previous one that one what like this is better than that one i would choose to eat this one over the other one and it gets points for having a cute star presentation i think that's sort of cute and it does taste a lot better like that corn uh puff thing doesn't taste gross like there's no gross flavor that hits you it's just more like i don't really know what it is i'm i don't know what flavor it is like it's just this weird flavor but not necessarily negative and then that chocolate flavor comes in Nesquik. I think it's reminding me of the taste of Nesquik, which is in Italian. I don't know where I was going with that. I think it's Nesquik. Maybe. Yes. I think it's Nesquik. My, that's my final answer. I, I don't know if it, <laughs> I don't know if it's accurate. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, maybe I'll be editing this later and it'll hit me like a ton of bricks, what this reminds me of, but yeah, I think it's Nesquik. I think especially the aftertaste, like that last sort of final like hints of flavor that you get at the end and then the aftertaste I think is definitely Nesquik. I'm, I'm pretty confident about that. I give this one a solid five out of 10. So in summary, uh, biscuit, the cream biscuit, which I still have one left, yes. Um, number one, the panda one was six out of 10 or seven. It was seven out of 10. Really cute packaging. The Pachi Pachi Paniku was six out of 10. So that makes it third. What did I give the peanuts? I think it was like a three out of 10, wasn't it? So that puts the six, the bonus chocolate star thing in fourth place. The choco snack uh, corn thing. I think this was then in fifth place and that leaves these gross rice cracker peanut things fall in last place. Overall, I think this went really well today. There wasn't as much of a variety in terms of flavor and types of candies as last time, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, I just happened to pull out ones that were sort of similar. Like we had a little bit of candy, we had some chocolate stuff we had some cookies. So I do think it was like kind of a good variety in that regard, but they were all sort of like safe choices, I guess, or at least most of them were. There's a lot of things in this basket that are much more adventurous, shall we say. Like this, I don't even know what flavor this is. Like that, or, oh, organic Japanese matcha. Like look how cute this packaging is adventurous like whatever this is i don't even know there's no expiration date obviously uh so i have no idea but that's definitely seaweed that's wrapped around this cracker thing so there are definitely things in here that would be more adventurous and more like uh, maybe shocking to try maybe out of these things the most out of my comfort zone that we got was these rice cracker things that had that weird flavor to them. Everything else is sort of like basic, you know what I mean? And things that would feel somewhat familiar to me. So I recognize that that's not the best selection, but that's what we got today. <laughs> and I'm actually kind of grateful because I just don't need a repeat of last year. So I'm not exactly complaining. I just recognize this might not have been as much fun to watch as some other YouTubers who try like really crazy shit. It's just not really, what I wanted this to be today, I just wanted to kind of just sit down and try some stuff and like have fun and enjoy my day, um, not feel gross and have my stomach turning while I'm trying to film. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with what we did today. I'm satisfied with the selection. This was a lot of fun. There's like at least 30 or more left in this bag. I would like to do a third round of this just because there's so much left and I feel like it's kind of going to waste if I just throw it out. Um, and I could try these on my own, like I'm, I am going to do that with the remainder, but I feel like if I have the opportunity to make as much content with this as possible, um, 
I don't see why I shouldn't take it. But with these ones, because a lot of them have expired, I really can't push it to next year. Like, it's not like I could do, uh, you know, another video like this next year for Halloween. It, it's pushing it because these are already kind of expired this year. So I can't do it next year. So I might do a second video next month, maybe, or January latest. And then I'm going to have to toss a lot of these because some of them probably are not edible by that point. <laughs> the last video that I did didn't get a ton of views, but I also had like six subscribers at the time. I now have 27, so I don't know if any of you would be interested in seeing something like this again from me, uh, or if this will get view views from new s people that would like to see more of this, but if you would, let me know in the comment section or just like this video so that I know that there's people interested in seeing more of this kind of content from me, and if not, that's okay. I might do it again if I feel like it, um, but if by January I don't, like I realize I'm really not going to do a third video on this, I'll probably just try some of these and throw out the ones that are no good. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.